Okay, so this is a bit of an exercise uh, lesson. What, what we have is if we run our game, we'll see it right here, we can see the current number of stores we own because that's tied in to our store. And you'll notice when I click buy store, it goes up to two. And if I click and keep clicking buy store, it can't go any higher. Um, and, and we're showing that here. What this exercise here is, again, this is for an ambitious beginners, is I want to see if uh, in this exercise you're capable from what you have so far of tying in this object up here, our current balance text, to show what the current balance is of the, the, the game so far. So I will bring up the text to show you here that we've already got our current balance as a variable just like we had our, our store count as a variable. And so now the challenge to you in this exercise is to go ahead and tie this in, um, this current balance into your text box. Now I think for a beginner, this is gonna be challenging. If you're already familiar with Unity and, and some programming, maybe not so much. But go ahead, pause the video, and, and try yourself to see if you can tie this current balance. It's now not in the interface to see if you can get it to update here and show this current balance. Okay, so hopefully you paused the video and, and tried that yourself. And now I'm going to unveil the exercise for those who maybe struggled or felt like it was too big of a jump. Don't, don't uh, beat yourself up if you struggle with this because especially if this is new for you, that, that would be a big challenge. But we're going to basically go and follow what we did here for our store count text. We're going to come down here and make a current balance text variable to hold our text. Then we're going to come down here the current balance. Now notice how I don't have to type this all out and I'm going to use start using this as an opportunity to show you that. If I type current, as soon as I get this far it's showing me my options, so I can choose current balance text type here. Dot text equals current balance, and again I can use this to help me out. Dot to string. It might not look real pretty yet, and we'll there'll be bonus points if you can figure out and use your Google to figure out how to make this look pretty. Go ahead. But if I save this, remember we haven't tied this in on the Unity side yet. So we ha I've saved the script, but I've got to come over here and click on Store Panel. And you'll notice that now we have a blank slot here for our current balance text. And I'm going to drag that in to here. And there's one other piece. And again, this was a, a challenge uh, if you're a beginner is that we're updating it here when we um, buy store on click. But we also need, and I'm gonna copy and paste this, to do it when we start the game so that the balance that we set here gets reflected in the interface. If we didn't do this, it's, it would still just show the $1 we have, okay? So hopefully that all makes sense. We're gonna save it, and so even if if you struggle with the exercise, hopefully um, um, this would be a good time to to try it yourself again, you know, without necessarily watching the video. But also, you know, maybe watch this point from the beginning again up to now and try to follow along because um, I am introducing a little bit of repetition in here. This was basically the same as what we did for uh, updating the store count text. So it's not anything new. There's nothing new learned. It's just applying what you'd already learned. But uh, again, if you're a beginner, um, it, it might have been a bit of a challenge. So let's save this, and we'll save our scene to make sure we got a, a save of it. And when we run, notice how that changed to two, so we lost our dollar sign and some of our, 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 our formatting which is okay. It's, it's more uh, the exercise to show that we got our, our uh, values tied in to our object. When I click buy store, 
it went down to 0.5 and now of course I can't buy anymore because we're out but we tied this in now and it's accurately representing our money because we could come down here and just as an example maybe we our current balance our, we started out at six if I change this here to six and save it and come back up and run in it run it this starts out at six and now look how I can buy multiple stores until I ran out of money and now I can't buy anymore now I have no money left so as part of just the end of this we're gonna learn a little bitty trick where we can come down here and put a, a C2 and that means C for currency and that we want two decimal places and I'm gonna come down here and do the same like that again that's a, a bonus for you if, if you went and uh, happen to take your own initiative to format that to make it look better. But now we'll cut, when I run it, notice how it's automatically putting the, six, the dollar sign in front and it's automatically formatting in its two decimal places. As I buy each store that costs $1.50, we see it decremented down as each store gets bought. And now we've bought our last store and we can't buy anymore, we're out of money. So hopefully that was a fun exercise for you. Don't get frustrated if it was a little hard. Um, I intentionally kind of made it a, a bit of a challenge there, but again, um, it, if it was, it's probably because this is uh, a bit uh, a new uh, thing to you, and, and you're somewhat new to using Unity, somewhat new to using C Sharp. Don't don't feel bad. Just watch uh, maybe a couple of these earlier lectures again, and and supplement. Of course, you're learning with that with other. Uh, videos as well you know from other sources but we're gonna be moving along here quick this is for ambitious beginners and so um, in the next lecture we're gonna look at actually now starting the timer uh, so that we can actually that we purchased all these uh, stores let's start making money from them